definitely time to get out and get into the woods again. It has been over a month since I was out camping and exploring the woods. So we decided to go to this area that we hadn't camped in before that I'd explored a number of times and it seemed like a really nice out of the way place. It was on this forest service road that I thought was just a mile or two but when we actually got on it with the trailer it seemed to be a number of miles. So we found out that there was a big rendezvous of some sort here and we met a number of cars on the way in and out and uh, so we were kind of surprised at that. But it wasn't a bad road, it was a little bumpy, it shook the camper up a little bit. It was a little narrow in places and there were some wide spots for people to get over if you really did meet somebody, but of course with the camper it's not easy to back up, so meeting people coming around curves was a real challenge. And it's uh, all, most all downhill we're following this stream or river, whatever it is. Um, I guess it's a pretty good trout fishing river because there were a lot of uh, fishing debris around the campsite we were at. We had to pick up that there were lines and uh, lures and bait boxes and everything. I had to think about this bridge before going over it. It was really narrow and it didn't look like it was going to carry seven tons but we made it across and then we were really down in the part that has uh, campgrounds so it was a really pretty area at the bottom of the hill more or less where the river begins to slow down and just have some nice flat water I guess that's why the fishermen are all there but it was a nice drive pretty drive so I gave you some video to see you that and then we got parked in a campsite we liked and we set up and while I'm doing the trailer of course you know what he's doing he's uh trying to get all his sticks together so that's what Aquila does when we get to camp And you know, it doesn't take him long to find what he's looking for. And I'm afraid as he gets older, he seems to think bigger is better. <laughs> but he made short work of that stick after a while. I'm working under a pretty significant handicap here. Um, we decided to do this because... Um, I have a real serious case of sciatica. Um, I can't really bend my leg or lean over because uh, of the pain that runs down my left leg. And uh, stretching and bending and all those things hurt. The only thing that doesn't hurt is hiking and standing up. And part of the uh, monthly routine for him is to Come put here. flea and tick stuff on them and we use the uh, Advanix canine uh, yeah, topical Stand. application. I don't like giving him pills that are so toxic that they Stand. kill fleas and ticks on the outside of him. So I like the uh, topical stuff and in the worst part of the summer I'll spray him with the permethrins because that actually can go right on his fur and not hurt him. Well, hello folks. We are camping in the Pisgah National Forest uh, down on Old Forest Road and I'm surprised there are a couple of campers down here. Um, this is kind of around the corner from all my other sites that I really like, but um, let me show you what we've got here. The right side of a really nice river, long distance from anybody else. There's a little swimming hole here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it might be too cold. It's February 11th. All right, 
He's got his stick. I've got the camper set up. Let's uh, pack away the tools and stuff and, and we'll be right back. This is a awful nice site. Um, we saw this last year exploring the National Forest and this is a kind of a crossroads across this stream to go on another road. But I've never seen the gate down the three times I've been here. Three or four times I guess I've been here. This is supposed to be a road that crosses all the way over to the um, Wilson Creek. It's this, uh, this road's closed and gated at parts so you can't get through it. Last time I was here there were two tents and a couple cars over there and then there was two or three cars and a couple tents over here where I am and I don't think this is really designed for a trailer but you know that's the unique and wonderful thing about an A-liner is you can stick it almost anywhere and the only thing I was really worried about is that when I let go of the car that um, it would go rolling into the stream but there are a lot of rocks there so I felt somewhat safe I never really trust the the chocks under the wheels um, just I don't know they they slip they screech they do all sorts of things so I don't really trust them so I usually put the put the stabilizers down before I get the car unhooked we're going to close up the doors, the cargo doors, and uh, think about what time it is and what we have time to do. Be right back. We, uh, we decided to go for a hike. Um, there are trails here, and there are people on the trails, but we're not trail people. We're more bushwhack people. We like to wander through the open forest and see what neat stuff is out there. Because there's just more stuff in the open forest than there is on heavily used trails. It looks like there was a lot of forest fire here at one time. Now, you might consider that poor man's caviar, but I don't think I'd want to eat it. Might wiggle on its way down. Must be a big old frog around here somewhere. Laid that pile of eggs in this one little puddle. <laughs> All right, so we found some snow in the mountains. I guess we've climbed high enough. <laughs> you know, I do like the northeast and the north and the east because of the beautiful forests and stuff. I don't have any real interest or, or nagging to climb mountains that have nothing on top but snow. You know, look at that big old boulder making a nice little stream there. This is a humongous campground or a campsite. You could probably fit 10 or 15 cars and you could fit a two or three fifth wheels in here. And this is on this road. We're walking on this road, which we met a guy who lives up the street and this road's closed because it had a washout five years ago. 
and uh, they haven't fixed the road so the road's been closed for the last five years and that's just terrible sad the beauty of these streams and the waterways is just amazing and there's amazing wildlife that you never expect to see you've seen mink and raccoons we just scared up a great blue heron right up here and uh it's just beautiful. I'm always surprised I don't see fish, though. They must hide pretty well under the banks. We uh, just scared up a great blue heron that was fishing down here. When I was in fisheries, they used to say to shoot them because they eat the stocked fish. Well, guess what? They have a right. That's why I don't work for fisheries anymore. Some beautiful waterfalls and pools. If only there was a good way to get there. Looks like uh, if you were driving along, you could have gotten there. Quite a landslide on the side of the road here. Down into that pool. Here is a, another really big campsite, old, old campsite. It's pretty grown up now, but it's got uh, fire rings in it, so I'm assuming people used to camp here. The road is way up there. You can tell it's winter because the rhododendrons are all uh, drooping and looking kind of cold. But along the waterway, where it stays a pretty, pretty warm temperature, I, I think probably it's around 34 in the air today. But it's a pretty green, they call them liverworts and algae and all that stuff. Looks like somebody's gone to bed for the winter. No welcome mat out here. But it's a pretty nice, cozy hole, I'll bet. I wonder if they were in there when it fell apart, <laughs> or if they climbed in afterwards. It's a nice hole. There's always so many interesting rock formations along these Forest Service roads. I always wondered if they had to dig out the roads to expose those rocks, or if they were there originally. Most of these roads, I believe, are from old railroad lines. Now this was a nice, peaceful camp out. And all of a sudden, down the road come, really, I counted about 17 cars and pickup trucks. And here they are, having a big old camp out. I don't know why they didn't park in the in the camp set but they got a whole lot of tents and they've been splitting firewood like they're going to be here for a week <laughs> maybe they will it's a lot of cars and a lot of guys well we went back to the camper and had a grilled cheese sandwich and uh pretty much went to bed <laughs> we were tired and uh got up and before light in the morning and got out of there but I uh, hope you enjoyed this video um, check out my playlist of other places and things we did and um, I hope to see you on the road thanks for coming bye bye <laughs>